Excuse me, can I help you? Uh, no, I don't think so. Sir, you can't go walk in without signing in. Really? I guess I'm an active shooter. <laughs> I think we've officially gotten rid of our troll. Charlie in Plant City, what's on your mind, my friend? Hey, I just had a question. Um, who is Florida Political owned by? Florida, it's Florida Politics. Oh yeah, Florida Politics, that's who you work for? Yes. Who are they owned by? Uh, our publisher is Peter Schorsch. Peter Schorsch, that's the publisher, so he... He also owns it, he's the publisher and he owns it. And what's the deal with that company? How long you worked there? How long? Hold on. Why are you? Why, why the interrogation? Oh, you know, I'm just curious because you know I've listened to you and stuff over the years, right? So I'd like to know a little bit about the situation. <laughs> Obviously, working on behalf of this this company, and so I'm just asking you some questions. This this show is is not uh, affiliated with my the company that I work for. I'm a volunteer. Um, that's just my my credentials are that I'm a senior editor for a political publication. Uh, that's the only reason I throw that out there is it's supposed to lend some level of credibility to what I talk about. But uh, I've worked, it, you know, I've, worked there. <laughs> I've worked I've worked there for about three years. Before that, I worked for the Tampa Bay Business Journal, and I once worked for WMNF as our staff reporter here. Yeah. Well, I was just just trying to ask, like, um, what was the purpose of the ban? On what was the purpose of the what? On, on these, on these, uh, these kids, you know, uh, changing over to uh, the other sports team. Why would you have a ban when they, they're already not doing it to begin with? Well, I don't know. Are you talking about the transgender sports ban? Yeah, like when I was growing up in the 90s, you wouldn't think about a kid joining the sports team of another city. It just wasn't, it just wasn't even a thought. You know what I'm saying? So now, all of a sudden, you know, we bypassed the whole conversation and went to a ban, right? But what's the point of the ban when the people weren't already doing this stuff? Other things that cause attention to it. And we all know what's going to happen, that they're going to end up pushing it through and letting these kids do that. So what does that mean? Dennis Rodman going to put on a wig and dunk over all the women? Okay, well, Charlie, Charlie, I hear you. This isn't really our topic for today, but I will, um, I will make it somewhat relevant here, Charlie. Um, I will say that that transgender sports ban, um, that is that is something that was conceived by Republican lawmakers in the state of Florida. It's a push that's happening with Republican lawmakers and, and lots of other red states as well. Um, but but to kind of draw that into today's topic, which pertains to uh, to race. You know, I will say that um, that that is going to have likely a far greater impact on communities of color than it will of uh, white communities because it is transgender people of color who are most at risk of discrimination and violence against them. Uh, that's the only reason I throw that out there is it's supposed to lend some level of credibility to what I talk about, but.